In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate how many days there are until someone's next birthday. There are three possibilities. The first possibility is that today is the user's birthday. The second possibility is that their birthday is coming later in the current year. And the third possibility is that their birthday already happened in the existing year. We'll start by watching the program work with all three of those options. So today is July 1st. If we're going to check for their birthday, we will put in 7 and 1. Wish them happy birthday. Next, we're going to check and see what it does if their birthday is coming up. We're going to put in 8 and 14. And it shows you how many days it is until that date. And then we're going to do a birthday that would have already occurred this year. And it shows that the next birthday is actually in the upcoming year, 2018, and how many days there are till the next birthday. Let's look at the code that it took to make this happen. So we needed four import statements. I'm using IntelliJ, so as I'm trying to use things, it will automatically prompt me to import the appropriate libraries. So I needed time, time format, date time formatter, time temporal, chrono unit, and the utility scanner. So the scanner is what we've used before. We're getting user input from the command line. The date time formatter sets how the date will appear, which in this case is month, day, and year with leading zeros suppressed for the month and the date. We are setting today, or text today, to today format formatter and um, putting out today. Because the local date is today. This is today formatted. The formatted one is a string. We are getting information from our user, asking them what month they were born in numerically. So we're using next int with the scanner. We're asking them what day they were born. We don't care what year they were born. We're just going to assign their birthday for this year to this year. And then we're going to create an int of this month for today get month value because we want to check and see if their birthday is today. So we need to check the day and the month. So we'll need to do that before we determine um, whether or not how many days it is to their next birthday. So if the birthday is before today, earlier this year, we're going to add a year to the birthday. So if their birthday was in May of 2017, their next birthday is not going to be in May of 2017. It's going to be in May of 2018. So we're adding one year to the birthday. And we have a string next birthday where we're just formatting it. And so we calculate how many days it is until the next birthday by using a long of days to birthday equals today until birthday, which we've added to if it comes in the year before we've already, before today. And we're using chrono unit of days to make sure we get that back the way we're expecting it. And if my month equals this month, so if it's, and my day equals today. So if today is their birthday, We'll put a print line of happy birthday. Otherwise, we'll tell them when their next birthday is and how many dates there are to reach it. So this gives you a nice comprehensive example of several of the Java 8 date functions.